uh, dear students so today i will teach you how to do the simplex method uh, for tableau so in this method what we are going to do we have an objective functions and we have a cons two constraints over here and the third constraint is a non negative constraint so uh, sometimes we cannot have the answers of the object uh, for this uh, objective functions in a normal way so what we use the simplex method uh, tableau method so there are uh, three steps over here the first step is um, the first iteration and then we go for the second iteration and then we go for the third iteration so in third iteration we get the optimal solution over here we got like you know the values of x and y and s1 s2 and the z value so i will teach you that how this like you know how we got this optimal solution so first we have the objective function which is z equal to 7x plus 6y and this is for maximization not minimization secondly we have constraint number one and then we have constraint number two right and the third thing is the non-negativity constraint which means that x and y both are equal and greater than zero so since uh, the sign is less than or equal to sign here so these constraints will be transformed into a standard, standard form Via, via the slack value so we, we do the plus s1 slack value for the constraint number one and for constraint number two we add s2 as a slack value in the constraint number two and similarly for objective function we also add some dummy uh, slack value although it's zero but we as a for the for the tableau method we add it as a zero s1 it means it will be totally zero and then zero s2 for that one so s1 is a slack variable for constraint one and s2 is a slack variable for constraint two now let's see in the first iteration what we have it so what we do it we uh, use the standard form we don't use the uh, this normal form uh, where, where there is inequality we use this the equality form so in this one what we have it we write the uh, the variable x and y here okay the slack variable s1 and s2 here in this on this side we also write the slack variable s1 and s2 here okay after that one we, what we have it we write cj so here we write the coefficient so coefficient means like you know uh, the neighbors of uh, of your objective function so for x what is the neighbor here so seven neighbors means like the coefficient uh, in a simple way i call it neighbor so it's seven so we put seven here what is the uh, what is the coefficient of y it means the neighbor of y is six we put uh, six here here and then what are the coefficient of s1 so s1 is zero and what is the coefficient of s2 it is zero right so we write like this one and now for this one and the second one we write the uh, here is the constraint uh, s1 and s2 zero because here in the objective function is zero zero we just write zero zero now look at this one constraint number one uh, the what are the coefficient for x so the coefficient for x is 2 so we write 2 here the coefficient for y is 4 we write y over here the coefficient of s1 is 1 we write 1 here and the coefficient of s2 is 0 because x, s2 is not existing so we put 0 over here while on the right hand side what we have which is b or some people they call it right hand side or we commonly write b over here so on the right hand side what we have it 16 over here right so so i will write both for you so that you understand as well okay right hand side okay now uh, what we have uh, in the second constraint similarly we write the second constraint so the coefficient of x is 3 we write put 3 here coefficient of uh, y is 2 we put y here a coefficient of uh, s1 s1 is not existing in constraint 2 so we put 0 and then we have the coefficient of s2 is 1 and put 1 and on the right hand side or b is 12 okay so this is that what we got it now then second step we we do the zj so what is the zj zj is basically sum of the product okay so sum of the product for what sum of the product for this element multiply by this element right plus this element multiplied by this element so the total is zero right similarly this, this element how we get this one zj we multiply this element with the this one plus this element with this one okay and then we get this element right now look at the pointer so that it becomes clear to you now how we get this value zj so we get this element multiplied by this element plus 
this element multiply by this element and we get this one and similarly for this value we repeat the same process this multiply by the coefficient of s1 multiply by coefficient of s2 and then coefficient of s2 multiply by coefficient of s1 s2 and then we get this zero so this is how we get cj so for all cj whether in iteration 2 or iteration 3 is the same method so we don't need to like you know worry about that one now what about cj minus uh, zj so we have cj so in this row we have all cj and in this row we have zj we just need to minus from each other so 7 minus 0 which is 7 6 minus 0 is 6 uh, 0 minus 0 is 0 0 minus 0 is 0 and that's very straightforward now there is a condition uh, for checking that whether uh, we should stop or should go to the next stop so if if the condition is met the condition is that if all the values in cj minus uh, zj is less than zero then we stop and no need for the ratios finding okay just like we say no need for the ratio finding in the last stage okay now uh, we say that yes there are two elements which is not equal and less than zero so what we do it we go like a uh, we go for the uh, further iteration so we see that what is the highest value so seven is the highest value so this becomes the pivot column and then we find some like you know uh, uh, ratios so on this how we find the ratio so ratio is seven so the right hand side divided by the mm, the pivot column value so which pivot column value is 12 corresponding value is 2 so we got this one and similarly uh, and then the pivot column uh, the right hand side value is like 12 divided by the uh, 3 so 3 is the, the that value now we need to find the pivot row as well so pivot row is the is the lowest one so lower one is the uh, is the uh, is the one so 8 is higher and 4 is the minimum value so that becomes the pivot row so the cross section of the pivot row and pivot column uh, we get a pivot or element or key element so which is 3 right this 3 is very important and this 3 will be used as a uh, used for the unity matrix so we will make this as a unity 1 and the corresponding will be 0 in the next iteration so let's go to the next stage and then see how we do it right so I term this one as a old row so this becomes like a uh, old row okay and this becomes as a old uh, second or r2 old right so we have two like you know rows i will consider as as an old row so for the next iteration what i do it um, I, this is for example my new row okay this is my new r1 row uh, this full one and this is my next r2 uh, r2 new row right so how can i get this one since i told you that this three i mean this three is a, is a key, is a pivot key element so i need to change into one so how i can make change into one i need to divide this three by by three so it will become one so but i cannot do it alone i need to do with everyone i need to do with this one i need to do uh, uh with this one i need to do with the uh, with this one element okay and most importantly on the right hand side as well then uh, my the, by then i can do the operations on the both side this is the most important thing so what i do it so so I, for for this one what i do so our old so our two old row i take it and i divide by three and i get the new one so i did the same operations so i did the same operation three by three is one okay and this two the second or two by three i got this one so uh, and then similarly this one is also zero and also one by three okay and uh, similarly this is uh, uh, this uh, this element is uh, as four because because uh, uh, 12 by 3 is 4 okay all right so the ratio i will calculate later on after finding the pivotal column and pivotal rows okay and similarly now uh, for this one uh, for this uh, the second row how i got the r1 new so uh, we also because since we need to make it as a unity matrix so this become one and this must be uh, zero so for that to make this this row zero i need to do operations on all this row right so uh, with all these elements x x y s1 s2 and the right hand side so what i have to do I, I need to do some trick with that one and the trick was that i took the old r1 i minus with the 2 multiplied by r2 new so r2 new is is this one so i did this operation and i got the r1 new so this is like you know you can do like step by step and it's very easy process you just need to follow this rule 
and this rule is like is, is like a not a universal rule you can you can make according to that one so our purpose was to make this as a unity matrix that was most important thing zero and one so for that one whatever operation mathematical operation you can do you can you are allowed to do it but the most important thing is that you have to do on both sides on the left hand side and on the right hand side as well this is most important thing so when you do all these operations so you get like you know uh, new Z, uh, zj the same operation uh, the, the product of sum and similarly cj minus zj so you got all this operation now here again i apply my rule this is the red color rule which is it should be less than or equal to zero this is less than or equal to zero this is less than or equal to zero this is less than or equal to zero but this one is not that one so i need to do again the next iteration unless and i'll tell uh, this uh, rule is met but similarly uh, i go the same uh, iteration operations so i i um, i get the, the the new rows over here so what i do it so i apply the, this new rows over here this new uh, method i means like to to make this uh, identity matrix so how do i do the identity matrix so in this time this is the uh, the minimum because i need to find the ratio so how i find the ratio similar way and uh, similarly i find the ratio over here and this is the minimum one right and this is the the maximum so this is my like you know pivot column and this is my pivot row and this is my pivot element so my target is to make it this as a one and this as a zero so that will be a unity matrix so when i get this unit so so see i i did this unity matrix how i did the unity matrix i did this operation this operation right so you can like you know make this operation and see that how how this can be one and zero but to make this one and zero you must apply the same elements with all this row and same elements with all this row. otherwise your operation will not be a valid now similarly you can find the zj and cj minus zj and now i see all my elements are less than or equal to zero right so where i can find my x uh, so this becomes my uh, x values which is three uh, uh, so y value which is three and x value which is uh, which is two s1 is zero s2 is zero and this is my optimal value is 32 which is the optimal value of the objective function so before i could not find the optimal value with the normal way but by this way i can find the normal the optimal value so i hope you understand this one if you have any question put in the queries thank you